Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Let's talk about setting the electric choke on the Holly carburetor behind me. Let's talk about how the choke works. So when you start a cold engine, you require a richer air to fuel ratio. So that means you either need more fuel or you need less air. On a carburetor, the way that they work is, you know, you have this plate here that is going to close itself when you pump the choke, pump the gas for the first time. So how the electric choke is gonna work is as this heats up, the spring inside here, it's gonna start pulling down on this lever here, which is going to open this to, which is gonna open this fully. So under normal operation, this is gonna have 12 volts. The spring is going to be completely heated and then this will be wide open. The first thing you need to know when you're setting up your electric choke is you really wanna make sure that you have 12 volts coming into it. So. You know, it's a switch 12 volt source. You need to make sure that you have 12 volts when the key is on and then zero volts when the key is off because you wanna make sure that it's not heating up at all when you, are, um, when, you're, when you don't have the carb running. When you're setting up the carburetor, you wanna make note of each one of these little lines here that are on the uh, housing of the carburetor itself on the uh, choke plate. What these lines are, it's gonna allow you to see where it's currently set and there'll be a mark on this black housing here, which tells you kind of, it'll tell you where it's set relative to the location of the choke plate here. So to adjust the choke plate, you're gonna to wanna to remove these three screws so that this black plate here becomes loose and you can rotate it around to adjust the opening and closing position. After you've done that, you should be able to move this left and right and adjust the location of that mark relative to the choke. If the choke here is opening too soon and it's causing a difficult start, what you're gonna to wanna to do is loosen these three screws and then you're gonna to want to rotate the choke cap counterclockwise one notch at a time. So you, you'll shift this and then you'll look up here and make sure that you move it one notch over. And then you're gonna to have to run the car, see how it starts on a cold start and what the performance is. If the choke is opening too late, what you want to do is you want to rotate it clockwise one notch at a time until it operates properly. After you found the position that you want, you need to lock the choke back up by screwing these screws in. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Smacky's Garage. I'll see you next week.